Hey guys, what's up? Uh, we're gonna be checking out uh, a little different spot here for tools. It's called Lidl or Little. It's a kind of a supermarket, but they have a strange aisle full of uh, things for the house and they have a lot of tools and stuff in there. So I was in here last time, but I didn't take a video. So let's go in and check it out. Okay, as you first walk in, you see the baked goods, the pretzels, the donuts. A couple of those donuts made their way home with me. And we look at the fresh fruit here, strawberries. All their stuff looks very good and fresh. This was uh, $1.99 for the big container. But here's really what we came here to see. And this is what they call the middle of Lidl. Or is it the middle of Lidl? And, uh, Really, it's a bunch of general merchandise, but what I really was looking for were the tools. So here's some gardening things. Uh, there's a leaf blower, uh, some pruners. So just a, a pretty good selection of things there. A lot of things in this store were uh, looked a little bit beat up, which is not how it looked the last time. So they must have had a rough week. Uh, pressure washer there for $79.99. Not too bad. A little bird bath for the backyard. Uh, yeah, just some odds and ends, greenhouse. Um, everything here, though, is limited uh, time that it's there. So get it while it's there, right? While supplies last. Uh, this looks like one of those pack-out type of things or uh, like Milwaukee has for storage. This weed whacker was 21 bucks. Uh, Nice-looking deck box, although it was very thin and a little bit flimsy-looking. Uh, looked like a good deal for the money. Wide assortment of garden sprayers, uh, some hedge trimmers, looking pretty good. Um, there's some things to fill the kitties Easter baskets with. Uh, I really, I was just about four aisles of this stuff. Uh, here are some paintbrushes, which I don't know if I would have picked those up. Um, a little battery tester. We thought about it. We thought about it. Now here's the hand tools. They weren't much uh, better quality than you would find, at least in my opinion, that you would see at like a Harbor Freight or something, but not bad to throw into a beginner's toolbox or to keep around the house. These were packed in a nice case here, these SDS drill bits for $6.99, uh, but they were metric, so I don't know how that was gonna work out. Um, there's kind of a knockoff of a workmate for 20 bucks. Um, some more paintbrushes. Uh, this was pretty cool. This masking set had, um, you know, drop cloth and some different things for masking off surfaces. That looked pretty neat. Um, this Parkside uh, instant change drill bit cordless screwdriver thing that was pretty neat too you can see uh that staple gun not sure though that was the last one so i don't think i, would, I was going to grab that because it was already open Unfortunately, there was a lot of music playing in the store, so I, was, I would get the copyright strike if I were to just keep the uh, original audio going. But uh, there was a coax stripper. This looked pretty interesting. Um, the rotary hammer. That might have been a good deal for $39.99. Although we just bought that cordless one, so. Uh, <laughs> Garage shelves, if you were in the market. That seemed a bit high, $79.99. But um, yeah, just lots of stuff here in the middle aisles. Um, and it changes every week. So apparently every Wednesday they get new things that come in and they, um, they push out their deals and when they're gone, they're gone. This is a Parkside plunge router, uh, $39.99. That would have been worth a try. Might've been worth giving a whirl. I already have a couple of routers, so I wasn't willing to, uh, to do that. And then there was these, uh, again, metric only. I didn't see any standard here of these combinations. So Parkside tools are sold exclusively at Lidl. And funny enough, 
uh, they're made by the same parent company as Einhell tools. So they have like a, uh, you know, one battery for all these tools. And the pitch man for this company is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right, so here we are. We made it back to Paul's workshop, back into the workshop. And uh, let's take a look at what we picked up from Lidl. Now, I haven't even seen Lidl until recently. Uh, happened to be in the area. Again, we were doing, uh, Paul was doing some Boy Scout stuff, and this store was nearby. And uh, as you saw, they got some pretty cool things in the center aisles there. So this is uh, the Parkside brand Vice. And what I like about this was it has this ability to put round stock and it looks like it has this pretty cool like ball joint so let's take a look at what we got here open the box Ooh. lost the allen wrench okay let's get a close-up look here so this was marked at ten dollars it rang up 850 and it clearly says on it for uh, lightweight work, right? For arts and crafts and things like that. It's a lot of slop in the jaw. But it opens yeah, pretty good. Pretty good jaw size there. I don't think, is there anything? Yeah, there is something there to stop. So it's not going to come all the way off. Um, you have these, these protectors on there, kind of a cheaper rubber. But, and then you, you have a non-marring rubber connector there. And the whole thing swivels around. What did we just drop? <clears throat> so, what is that? Kind of an Allen screw came. Oh. That's weird. There's a set screw that goes in there. So we got our wood. That's pretty tough. That's pretty solid. And then you can tighten the bottom. So it doesn't swivel anymore. All right. And that gives you the ability to work on that. And then if you want, what I thought was kind of cool was that you're able to, you're able to angle this. So if you're, if you're working on something and you need a kind of a, odd angle on it there you got it right might be good for sharpening tools doing some light work so i think that's pretty neat for the 850 that it came out to okay this is set up now with the round clamp in it and it's a pain because you need to take well first of all i mean it's really that's a big opening so this is really for something kind of a big round object but also you need to you need to disassemble a good amount of the vise in order to put that on. So this, this screw here threads into the shaft for, uh, you know, the long shaft for tightening the, uh, for tightening the vise up. You have to unscrew that. And so basically you gotta take the vise apart in order to put that round thing on there. So that, you know, that not crazy about that, but for 850, you know, what do you expect? Okay, I also picked up this four volt instant bit change cordless screwdriver. I'm gonna um, unbox okay. it. This is one of these, uh, looks like a, a holster for it. It came with, and um, it also came with, let's see what's in here. I think this is the charger. So we got a little, a little USB charger, because this is a, uh, it's a USB-C, so this is a four volt light duty. And we got a, uh, a bit adapter. And we got a few bits in here. So I'm gonna actually plug this in and charge it because it's been in the store and it has a, you know, it's a try me in store, but it's not fully charged. So we're gonna charge it up and I'm gonna show you something else in the meantime while this is charging. Instant change screwdriver is on the charger right now. So in the meantime, we're gonna take a look at what else we picked up. So this is a Forstner bit set, five bits. Uh, I mean, issue number one with them is their metric, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. And then a plug cutter bit, a set of four plug cutters. And this was kind of like a little beat up in the bin. 
and stuff like that. But um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try one of each in my drill press and we're gonna see how they work out. So the park side Forstner bits and the plug cutter bits. Let's see what happens. There we go. So you can get a good look at what it looks like. It's 35 millimeter. And now I'm gonna show you uh, something comparable and this one's been used, but this is an Irwin uh, inch and three eighths. So you can see more cutting surface on this, right? More, uh, more teeth as opposed to this cheapy. But let's see how it works. All right, here we are. Fan to the show will recognize our um, central machinery drill press. I had to lower the speed on this. Uh, let's see how she works. Did do the job. A little slow. A little smoke. I probably need to fine tune uh, my technique a little bit, but not the greatest bit. But if you had a couple to cut, uh, only a couple holes to make, this would be fine. And uh, keep in mind too, that's the biggest and most challenging bit to go through. So, yeah, I'm okay with that for the, for five bucks. I mean, considering a, a set of. Uh, Forstner bits is going to set you back probably, what, $25, $35. All right, let's get a look at the plug cutter. There we go, and this looks like it's a number, a 10 millimeter. with that that worked very well can't complain about that so i'm impressed those that was a good deal so for those uh you know how often are you going to use all it? right finally the rapid fire 2.2 parkside little hand screwdriver Okay, you got battery life indicator up top. And down here you have a little LED, a little LED work light. And then the neat thing about this, it has onboard bits. So you can turn to the one you need. If you want, you can put your own bit in there. You can have the this extension, or you can just put your bit right in there. Okay, and just so you're always ready to go, this can be part of your uh, part of your everyday carry. You have a holster, kind of neat. I mean, that's cool. Put that on when you're going to do. Uh, do a job, slip, slip down onto your belt, huh? How cool would that be? All right, we're gonna put it through a little bit of a torture test here just to see what, how it would work. And I'm not sure if this is exactly how you wanna be using this, but. Seems to do a pretty good job. It's a light duty tool, so it's not made to to really be driving screws into wood all day. Like you're not gonna put a deck together with it. But this I could see this for some like ready to assemble furniture or something like that. You have your bits. So rather than carrying, I mean you can carry your uh 
quick change hand screwdriver, but why not have this, right? Just to do a little here and there kind of task. It's got the USB-C charging port on it. I like it. I think it does, it's kind of neat for $17.99. You see these things on eBay, or I'm sorry, on, uh, oh, on Amazon for yeah, a little bit more than this. So there it is, the Parkside Rapid Fire 2.2. It's only a four volt, um, but again, lightweight, fits in the holster, take it with you on the go. What do you think? Oh, well, there you have it, everybody. We took a look at some of those Parkside tools, things that you could pick up at Little if there's one in your, or I'm sorry, Little if there's one in your neighborhood. Um, if not, I'm sure they'll be opening up soon. They seem to be popping up kind of like Aldi's are. Uh, so before you go, guys, I wanted to say, uh, put a shout out and a thanks to Scout Crafter for sending a bunch of new folks over here. Um, I hope you like what we do here. If you do, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Um, let us know in the comments what you like to see. I kind of like picking up some of these uh bargain tools and giving them a try and seeing what happens but we also like picking up and repairing things so yeah again let us know what you think and uh thanks for watching we'll see you next time